You are listening to the Crazy Town Podcast, Season 2, Episode 12, with Jonas and TNT Dynamite. What's going on, guys? Are you talking to them again, or are you talking to me? Yeah, I don't know. I like talking to them, too. Okay, but well, what's I going on, guys? Yeah, see? Okay, I like that. It's a lot better. <laughs> TNT. Yeah. Did you know that a rooster's crow is so loud, it can deafen you if you stand too close? So, cocks crow pretty loud, huh? Yeah, if you get a cock too close to your ear, <laughs> it can make you deaf. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's dark now. <laughs> We're here, it's us. <laughs> uh, it's said that the crows last one to two seconds and they average more than 130 decibels. That says it's the same intensity as standing 15 meters away from a jet taking off. Really? No wonder the roosters have ears themselves. Man. They just. I also have uh, that fact for you. I do, do I ever come unprepared? I don't know. Who right. This guy. Yeah. It says uh, one rooster's crow reached more than 143 decibels, which is like standing in the middle of an active aircraft carrier. This is like during like the the whatever they did, scientific test or whatever, mm. research. But it says here the reason roosters don't blow their own eardrum mm -hmm. when their beak is fully open, when the cock's beak is fully open. Uh-huh. <laughs> A quarter of the ear canal oh. completely closes, and soft tissue ends up moving to cover 50% of the eardrum. Scientist. So they're basically only getting 25% of their crow. Oh, so they don't know they're loud talkers. So they don't know they're loud talkers. <laughs> it's like that guy you know who gets next to you, and he's like screaming in your fucking face, and he just cannot. I know that he guy. Cannot, he cannot. Do it. Are you talking about me? No. Right? no. <laughs> so... Now that we let you know how loud a cock can scream, enjoy the show, everybody. Bunny, take three. Welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. TNT, the INO, and my GHT. What's going on, Jonas? Holy shit. You what? got it right the first time. Did you it? didn't fuck up the song. You didn't do anything. No, my breath control was a little off, though. <laughs> Your cadence was a little off. <laughs> All right, I got you. I got you. All right. Well, we want to thank you all for listening to the podcast today. We do want to remind you that our YouTube gaming channel has launched. So if you like our podcast, our gaming channel is basically like mini podcasts. So you should go check it out. Watch it. Pro YouTube. gamer. Pro, <laughs> pro, pro Fortnite BR player over here. MLG. MLG, right. So also our Twitter, if you are not following, is at the crazy town pod and also at crazy town media. If you do not follow them right now. Aunt Junebug is not going to take you to the Festival of the Grapes this weekend. We, we, we can only call her Jenny. <laughs> can't, <laughs> can't call her Junebug. Can't call her Junebug no more? <laughs> can't call her Aunt Junebug. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> and also, as always, the cornucopia of continuous information about the show and the gaming channel, thecrazytown.com. TNT, how are you today, man? Oh, living a dream, you know. Are you? Yeah, just got back from the pool, crazy town, Palisades. <laughs> just got done rock climbing and learning <laughs> Dutch and yeah. all those things. But yeah, I don't know. I'm doing all right. How about you, big guy? Oh, you know, I was just in the Sierra Nevadas, like climbing the Alps or oh, some shit. <laughs> just got back from Dubai. Just got back from, it's always Dubai. I just got it's back from Dubai. Always Dubai. <laughs> it is always Dubai. <laughs> uh, no, in reality, not doing shit, man. Just hanging out, you know. Do you hear they're supposed to have flying taxis in Dubai? Oh, I fucking hope, dude. Did you hear about that? Seriously, like they within have, the next two years, they're supposed to have flying their, taxis their in Dubai. I also heard their cops use hovercrafts or something. I think I have that article to talk about on the podcast. I'll look through my Crazy Town dude. Chronicles. Yeah, but they are crazy over there, dude. Yeah, dude. They're trying to do anything. They built that shit on water that wasn't there. They made the land and then built skyscrapers on it. Shit's insane. Anyways, 
we do want to thank you all for listening. We have a great show planned for you today. We're going to talk about some uh, P.T. Barnum from the circus. Everyone thinks he's loved. Everybody loves Barnum Bailey Circus, right? Well, except for the animal activists, I guess. Yeah, I Everybody say. loves him that doesn't like animals. Okay, we got my problem. P.C. Dynamite definitely has we, a few uh, issues. I got a bone or two to well, pick. Well, if you already have a bone to pick with him, after I talk about his freak show from the 1800s, you mm. are going to have a big bone to pick with him. Mm. Also, TNT, Trotchmeyer stopping by. Oh, yeah, he's coming by. Yeah, he's coming by to challenge you for the third time in Are You Urban. You don't bring that Barry Horowitz. <laughs> Barry Horowitz. <laughs> that, that jobber. <laughs> in here to try to try to be, maybe the third time's the charm. That's true, that's true. I you treat know. every every encounter I treat as a We know what a happens. Real when you start getting a big head, that's when you lose. That is never what she said. <laughs> that isn't what she said. <laughs> So everybody, as always, send us in articles or topics you want to talk. Fucking professionalism over here, drinking Sorry. on the mic. Jesus Christ. Send us in news stories. Send us in things you want us to talk about. Crazytownpodcast at gmail.com. If you're drunk and need to say something you need to say, that's kind of, I guess, anything. <laughs> you need to speak words when you're drunk, call us. 512-TAX-1-NIP. What's love, You love nipples, but you hate taxes. Yeah, so if, even if you love taxes and hate nipples, still call us in. Does anyone love taxes and hate nipples? Maybe like IRS homosexuals? <laughs> homosexuals that work for the tax department? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. That's... All right, all right. Well, anyways, 512 tax one day. Hmm. All right, TNT. What? Are you ready to drop some knowledge on these hosts? Yeah, sure. Let's go. All right. Let's do it up. All right. Drop some knowledge on these <laughs> you like that? Is that yeah, how some, you... some hack saw Jim Duggan Oh, in there. it was. Why are you bringing up wrestling? We don't talk wrestling. I know, but you know about it. Oh, you... Today's word, Honus, is repartee. Repartee. Ooh, oh, can repartee. you spell that for the fans? R-E-P-A-R-T-E-E. Okay. Repartee is conversation or speech characterized by quick and witty comments or replies so is our podcast a repartee a little bit, right? oh shit welcome to the crazy town repartee this yeah. is jonas i'm here with tnt pinky's out pinky's out tea in hand where's our crumpets bitch can Pretty you use much. it in a sentence uh sure i had an interesting repartee rep- Oh, wow, that's good. Let me, let me, <coughs> excuse I had an, me. I had an interesting repartee with Jonas's girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> zing. <laughs> Joke's on you. She doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Uh, oh, that was it? I thought yeah, you were going to oh, talk yeah, about, like, was, a, a, a repartee about my performance in the sack or something like that. Wow. You always try to cut on me, dude. So I never I never have cut on you ever. All right. That's true. Maybe. Maybe it's just all in my head. Somebody make a super cut of every time that <laughs> super, I've <laughs> super cut. <laughs> Go back and listen. Listen and get all the all Usually episodes. during the words, you cut down on somebody, whether it's Chach or me. I it's... usually talk about having anal sex with one of you two. Oh, but wow, I don't really that's, find... that's more like a... That's more like a compliment. Pulling out the sodomy jokes? Well, I mean, but I mean, yeah, a little bit. All right. I figure if a dude says, hey, you know, I'd really like to have sex with your butthole, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> well, thank you. I'm not interested, but thank you. You think that's like a, a sign of like being like the bee's knees almost? Yeah, it's a compliment. So like that's what you do to women? You walk up and just go, oh, hey. <laughs> And they're supposed to be like, ooh, you do? We were having this talk, though. Like, men always have to approach them. If a woman came up to you and said, sir, you're looking very handsome today, wouldn't that make you feel... And that's all she said? Yeah, and she walked away. You know what? That would make you feel great. Yeah, you know what? If I was at the grocery store and some, like, even if I didn't think the woman was attractive myself, she Mm -hmm. walks up to me and she goes, you know what? You look really fucking nice in that outfit today. I just wanted to tell you that. Oh. Oh, my God. Like, Dude, that gave me a semi. Yeah. Like, really? I just start doing that to women I find attractive in the store. Just walk up and be like, you know what? I think your hair looks really nice today. I just had to come up and tell you, you that. make their damn day, dude. Right. Even if I don't think they're attractive, yeah. just to make their day. And ladies, if you ever see me, you can tell me how attractive I am. <laughs> All right. Well, now that we've got through the wholesome part of the show, if you can call it that. <laughs> the wholesome part. Are you uh? You ready to get into some freak talk? Ooh. 
<laughs> Getting salacious on the crazy town. Not freaky talk, but oh, freak yeah. talk. Yeah, sure, freaks. All right, we're going to jump into P.T. Barnum's Circus of Freaks, mm-hmm. his freak show. Not my words, his words from back in the day. Okay. This was all from, from, from the dates that were in there. They were all from the 1800s, so this, that circus has been around a long time. I'm going to go through them, man, and you tell me what you think about this. And you already have problems with P.T. Barnum. Yeah, I think he, everybody will have a problem with P.T. Barnum. He's trash. Okay. So the first the first lady he had in his freak show, her name was Joyce Heth. This was the 1830s. Oh, man. He billed this lady as being 160 years old. That was like her shtick. Okay. Yeah. So she had um, big sunken in eyes and – they uh they promoted her as being a wet nurse for George Washington. <laughs> right. What is what exactly is a wet nurse? Is that I'm like the, sure. the birther? Like they birth? They they don't birth the baby, but they assist in the birth, right? Yeah, That's the I wet think, nurse, I right? So. so she helped birth it's the not founder when they of a, feed the baby with their their own yeah, Breasts? I think that was no. I think the wet nurse helps you deliver the the baby. Okay, and maybe I don't know. We'll, we'll have to look that up. Yeah. So, anyways, so she that was like her shtick. When uh when she ended up dying, mm-hmm. they they the autopsy they did showed that she was only eighty years old, but but she just looked. She yeah. she had a hard life, you know. I mean, she probably had scurvy and other shit. This is like before <laughs> nutrition was really a thing. Why are you laughing about scurvy? Oh no! It's just funny to say. Does scurvy do that to you? It makes you look older than you are. I don't know. She's probably malnourished and shit, man. Like she, all she had was like fucking. P.T. Barnum wasn't feeding this lady. Right? She she was eating out of a dog bowl. No, I don't know. Well, I thought this was really part of the story. No. no, but I mean, she was she was older than looked older <clears throat> than she did. They said it. They they were so enthralled about her age when she really died. 1,500 people paid to be present during the autopsy to find out how old she really was. So, like, she had a big following. If 1,500 people in the 1,800s paid to watch you cut up her dead body, she was pretty popular. That's kind of fucked up, though, right. don't you think? Oh, all of, wait till I get deeper. I mean, this. but that wasn't P.T. Barnum. It's not like he had the autopsy on fucking campgrounds. Right, they had it somewhere. It wasn't like under the big top. Maybe he did. Like clowns juggling he, on he, unicycles as they did on each side of the yeah, 80-year-old the woman. They're, they're like, yeah, fire breathers and shit. Like, <laughs> the first incision, he shoots up a 10-foot flame out of his mouth. All right, that was her. Charles Stratton is the next one. No, hey. He went by Tom Thumb. He was – I don't know – something – I'm not exactly sure how um, tall he was because it said that he was 25 inches high and 15 inches tall. So I don't know what the fuck that meant, but I figured I'd jot it down. Feet. Right. So he's like, a, he's like a, a small person. Yes. A little person. It said that – this is how fucked up this shit was. Like he – his stick – was he was short. Yeah. P.T. Barnum, P.T. Barnum taught him how to sing and dance and impersonate historic figures like Napoleon. So he dressed up like Napoleon and danced around and sung on stage. So he's exploiting the fuck out of these people who are not average looking or have some sort of thing. Is it bad that I don't, I don't, I'm not mad yet? You're not mad yet? <laughs> I'm not mad yet. I cannot wait to tell you about this one lady. I'm I cannot okay. wait. So far, I'm not mad, you know? Okay, like, all right. Well, I mean, but Duke the little always... person, the freak, so to speak, yeah, I mean, yeah. you sure they, I'm sure they made probably pretty good fucking money for the 1800s. I mean, like, what else is he going to do? He can't go out in the field and plow. The dude's two foot tall. What's he going to do? Wow, you just freight the farm, man. Like, you couldn't be running a Fortune 500 company. In the 1800s, they didn't have Fortune 500 companies. He could have sold vacuums door to door. Could have sold heroin. <laughs> sold, sold Oxycontin. To... I don't know what kind of jobs. He could have had a good job then. Okay. He had the Warring Jeez. Sisters. The Warring Sisters? After the success of Tom Thumb, mm. he wanted more small people to join his freak show. Mm. He found... Lavinia mm-hmm. and Minnie Warren. I've heard of these two. They had a pituitary disorder. Mm-hmm. Growth. Growth. Mm-hmm. Yes. Lavinia married Tom Thumb, Charles Stratton. Oh, shit. Barnum exploited them 
and Minnie married Commodore Nutt, another small man oh, performer. So we had two sets of little people couples. This is like in the 1850s or something. Minnie died during childbirth. Yeah. So Minnie died, man. I can't imagine... <laughs> <laughs> so many died, man. Many, many, yeah, 1830. Many, I'm yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, she's dead. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> right. Um the the Warren sisters were so popular. Uh -huh. Abraham Lincoln was a fan of them and requested to meet them in person. Wait, Lincoln was alive in the 1800s? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. The Civil War happened in the 1800s. No, in 1942. Seven. Lincoln sailed the ocean blue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah dude, that's I what learned. happened. Yeah, Lincoln in the World War One. They're one and the same, right? What? No, Lincoln and the Civil War both were in the eighteen hundreds. Man, eighteen what? I don't know the exact date he was president. Well, he was the sixteenth president. Goddamn history major. In I the am. God yes, room. everyone knows I'm a history guy. Oh, here's the good one. I'm saving it. You're saving it. I'm saving it because I'm not mad. Honestly. This These people could have been like, no, we don't want this. The one job. I'm going to talk about last won't make you mad, but I know you're going to like it. I know you. I know you're going to like I it. Thought you, I thought we were going to piss me off about PT. No, you said you already hated. Yeah, um, he's trash, but he's, I mean, he's just like. People, oh, okay. Well, they, anyways, they were, they're willing. Zip the pinhead. <laughs> that was this guy's name. Oh, my God. Okay. No, no I'm going to make he a comment. He has microcephaly. You know Microcephaly. That is? Um, that is a small head syndrome. Yes. The brain doesn't develop properly. Mm -hmm. You have an abnormally small head mm -hmm. and you're mentally challenged because your brain's just yeah. not big enough. Yeah, it doesn't develop. They, it said that some people call them the missing link of evolution between the whatever. I think <laughs> between that's. Between the whatevers. Between uh, the, the uh, God, what's the fucking missing, the cavemen and the people. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's what. Um, P.T. Barnum called him, was the missing link. He was, like, oh. the missing link, so that's what he was promoted as. All right, I'm a little mad about that one. Okay. That's kind of <laughs> fucked right. up. Well, he, well here's, what he, here's what he did with him. This may make you a little more mad. He put him in a large cage, and when the curtains were pulled back, he would shake the bars and scream at the people that were walking by. What? Yes, he put Zip the Pinhead in a <clears throat> cage, called him the missing link of evolution, and made him scream and shake bars at people as they walked by his cage when the curtains were drawn back. Wow. Yeah, I told you it gets kind of fucked up. Yeah. Like, I started with the softballs. <laughs> that, that, is, that is definitely not PC. Not in this environment. We no, could you this. imagine if, like, today, some guy, like, Elon <laughs> Musk is like, I have this guy. Oh, he's the missing link. He's in a cage. Come see him. He'll scream at you. Oh, my God. The ACLU would fucking explode. The Civil Liberties Union? What's ACLU? That's... It's like the, it's the, they stand it for people's human, basic human rights. Is that an Austin thing? No, I think it's a national thing. Oh, okay. I yeah. know that, dude. Anyways. Okay, but yeah, that's fucked up, dude. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just mentally like, challenged people, just like... <laughs> throw him in a cage, make him scream at people. Yeah, that's fucked up, bro. All right, yeah, I'm mad now. <laughs> now I'm mad. Yeah. All right, all right. We, only, we have a few more to go through. All right. Prince Ray Randian. His true name was not known. He goes by Prince Randian. Okay. He had Patra Amelia syndrome. Do you know what that is? I do not. He was born without arms or legs. He was, he was a, just a fuck the human torso. A quadriplegic. Yeah, but born that way. Okay. Not like it didn't. he didn't have an event that caused it. Okay. He was from South America, and he moved from South America to the Americas to be part of the Barnum Freak Show. Oh, so he got offered a check. Right. Right. Yeah, and the 1800s are like, oh, we'll, we'll give you eight nickels. And he's like, oh, my God, that's so much more money than I have here. And he came, you know. Not literally, but, yeah. like, he went there. <laughs> so his – oh, God. This is <laughs> – if I got to say, oh, God. So his, his thing, mm. he would roll and light cigarettes with just his lips. So he would roll a cigarette with his lips and then get it lit somehow. So that's not too bad, right? But, I mean, he has no arms or legs. That's a talent. I mean, he obviously knew how to do that. Here's, here's the part, dude. Sometimes he would dress him up like a snake, caterpillar, or a potato and make him do this. P.T. Barnum is a piece of shit, dude. Oh, my God. And people, like, love love that circus, dude. 
<laughs> you don't even you, your face just says it all. Like, was, okay, so there's obviously you know there was no PC government or anything. Nobody that was shit. P- yeah. dude, look at the cartoons and shit from back exactly. in that day. They were the most racist, bigotry, fucking yeah. just yeah, whatever just, against, against women. women, everything. Yeah, everything. But holy shit, man! <laughs> Taking At no money. point in time do you think hey, this is kind of mean. Right? He's like, I made a shitload of money off this caterpillar. Right. Like this caterpillar. He probably referred to him as the caterpillar or the potato instead of like his real oh, name. I called him Prince Randian. <laughs> I wonder where that came from. I don't know, man. That's monarchy. Yeah, right? He's yeah. a prince. Yeah, yeah. he's really he's a the prince. prince of the potatoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Holy shit. Yeah, these... that's not the worst one, huh? Uh maybe i mean that might be the worst one i don't know we'll see we'll see we got a few more to go the, right. the next are the wild men of borneo no oh, geez it was wayno and plutonor that's what he called them that wasn't their real names w-a-i-n-o and p-l-e wait sorry p-l-a-u-t-a-n-o-r plotnor maybe okay their names were hiram and barney davis those were their real names oh, okay just normal american guys they were dwarfs the article's word not mine small people and they were also mentally challenged. They only weighed 45 pounds, but for whatever reason, they had incredible strength. Probably because they were adult males. Right. <laughs> right. But for their size, it says they could they, – they were 45 pounds, so I imagine mm. they were t- small, could carry 300 pounds. Oh, wow. He said they used to go around and pick up audience members and carry them around the venue, what? just like as part of the show. Like he could, they could carry around full human adults and just pick them up and carry them around. That's kind of. But cool. they were like little like dwarf guys. Like that's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not mad at that. I mean, he didn't put them in a cage or anything. They wouldn't <laughs> dress them up like a caterpillar and shit. I know, right. Okay. Jeez. This is this next one is you hear about it at circuses or freak shows all the time. The bearded lady. Oh. Josefina Clofulia. Mm-hmm. She had hypertrichosis. Ooh, that's a lot of uh, TH. I mean, not THC. Uh, Testosterone. What, what? Yes. Yes. She was at eight years old and a woman. She had a full beard two inches long. Mm, my type of girl. So, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> so people would debate whether she was really a woman or a man in a dress. Mm. Eventually, people just accepted she was a bearded lady, but Barnum didn't like that. He didn't like just the acceptance. So he paid a man to sue him for fraud that the bearded woman really wasn't a woman, took him to court. They had a case. He won the the publicity. He won – you might as well call it a publicity stunt. He won the court case, but it basically was a uh, publicity stunt, and after that, he got even more people to draw a bigger it. draw because then there was like a, a conspiracy behind so it. So it worked. It did what it was right. It did. It absolutely worked. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. It said it uh, reported all over by the press and it ended up drawing huge crowds. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You're smart guy, I guess. Yeah. I mean, for trash. All right. <laughs> right. No shit. Chang Yu Sing, the Chinese giant, is what they call them. Okay. They build them as over nine feet tall. No. Yao Ming in it. They said he was actually not quite that tall. <laughs> I mean, as we can tell, P.T. Barnum's a little bit of a liar. Well, yeah, he embellishes a little bit. Uh, they said he was over eight foot tall, though. Okay, that's um, Weighed 365 tall. pounds. And what they did was they dressed him in Chinese traditional garb clothes that were really long and had accentuated, like, long patterns to make him appear even taller than he was. Mm-hmm. So I imagine, like, long stripes that went from, like, his – top to his bottom or like frails or tassels or some shit wow and that was that was drawing back then well, dude huh? back in that like i think the average height for a man was like five two or some shit people weren't tall back then five two google 18 i'm not googling 1830s men sizes i'll like, get all kinds of like <laughs> yeah. pornographic websites it'll be like <laughs> some dude in the 1800s with his fucking dongle <laughs> fucking flopping around in the breeze for you all right one more, then I'm getting to the fucking crazy one. Okay. The craziest of them all, I think. Oh, yeah. This one is Isaac Sprague. He was a human skeleton. <laughs> wow. Look at your fucking... Why are you laughing? I don't know. How can you be a human... I mean, we're all human skeletons, right? <laughs> right, exactly. 
He had uh, progressive muscular atrophy. No, that's bad. Yeah, well, yeah, right. He was forty five or forty four years old. He was five foot six inches tall and only weighed forty five pounds. So he mm. pretty much probably did look like a human skeleton. They said that this man was in such poor health that he carried a flask of milk around his neck so he could constantly like sip on nutrients all day. I don't know what that really did for him. Like, why couldn't he just drink a glass of milk in between fucking? Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, so I, can you just imagine? He's like super emaciated. He just yeah. like. You got to imagine doctors didn't really know as much back then. Right, right. Yeah. To help but, that, how to help that shit. Yeah. That's, that's still kind of fucked up. I mean, but that guy was probably willing. willing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, well, he probably couldn't walk there. So I'm sure they had to like bus him in from wherever he's from. <laughs> they just. They just stole him away from the nursing home he was in. Yeah, they slapped him in the back of the wagon and drug him around the United States. Found him laying in a hospital bed and put him in a big top circus tent wagon. Yeah, yeah. that's about it. Okay. Yeah, I think that's I think that's pretty close to the big top tent wagon. I'm pretty sure that's where it went. Okay, Myrtle Corbin, good old Myrtle, the four legged girl, the four legged woman. <laughs> she was a okay. I don't. I'm probably gonna murder this, but uh, a, a Depygus twin, D I P Y G U S. Never heard of it. So what happened was no. Ew. The second twin only partially formed in the womb. She so she was one person. She had two sets of fully mm. formed lower body. So it was like she had one top, oh, one yeah. one torso, I and two lowers. Two fully functional vaginas and wombs. Honey, what? Was that listed in the article? It was, absolutely. You got to do some deep digging no, to get that one. it was listed one. in the article. Okay. It says, yeah, she had two full form sets of bottom, and okay. but it was one top. Almost like a minotaur, but not front to back, like side to side. A minotaur. What? All right, P.T. Barnum. <laughs> <laughs> what else you got? Okay, she she ended up getting married. Okay. She had five kids. Wow. And if you're wondering, she did successfully birth a child out of each womb. Wow. So she, so she, but here's my question. Why don't you keep one of those vaginas strictly for sex? What do you mean? It'd be a virgin vagina constant. Well, not a virgin forever, but she could only she could save one for childbirthing and All one right. for sex. So look, if you had two penises, do you think you're not going to try to fuck with both penises, oh. or are you going to keep one penis to be the virgin penis? Oh, that's a good idea because maybe she's like, man, having sex with this vagina feels really good. No, having sex with this, you're going to be fucking with both of those penises. This. The first day you get it, the first day you <laughs> first day out with your second dick, you're gonna be like, I can't wait to get this into something. <laughs> Even if it has to be a fruit. <laughs> so I'm I guarantee, it in there. I guarantee two vaginas. she would be like, hell yeah. Do you think she ever like did threesomes? But like it would be like, it'd be like legit. Like each guy would be going to town. On oh, probably. Did you see the story about the real two headed girl? No. There's like a, really a girl out there with two. Same sort of situation, but she grew two heads and said she has two vaginas. Heads, like, yeah, like boom, boom. Wow. There's like, there's pictures of her. But everything else is shared. Yeah. And so basically, like, does she have two full necks? Or like is one kind yeah, of off to the side? Or? Yeah, it's like one is kind of like right here, but they're both like on the same body. Yeah, there's like pictures of her giving some dude fellatio. Are you serious? I swear. So she to went the you. porn route with her special talent. She's like, I got two heads. What if like four chan is a hell of a drug? Yeah, no shit, right? So, so what if you had two heads and one of your heads wanted to be a giant whore and the other one didn't? Like, so the other one's like. So you mean the other head was not like me whatsoever? No, I'm talking about as a female. Like, you have two heads, and oh. and one of you is like, I can't wait to get some penis. And the other one's like, I want to save myself for marriage. And, like, you have this internal struggle with, like, your two heads because you share the same body. Yeah. You're not wrong. Like, but who controls the arms? Like, would one get pissed and, like, slap the other one, the other face? Because, like, I don't know, can, like, can the whore head 
take the left arm and slap oh and slap the saint head. You're always the horror guy. I don't, <laughs> you're the horror guy. The horror guy. I don't know, man. I think you just have to come to terms and maybe like, all right, you rent the vagina for this. You rent the vagina, but what? But wait, if the one wants to save herself from marriage, once the whore gets the pussy out there, there's no more saving well, yourself. I think you're, everything's a timeshare when you're in that two. So like, person. even though. The whorehead is slamming ham on that vagina constantly. The other one can still consider herself a virgin because she's never, like, wanted the, the penis. You have gone way off the rails with this one. <laughs> I, fucking, I asked the hard-hitting questions <laughs> on the crazy I want rails. people to listen to this and go, holy fuck, that's a dilemma. It is a dilemma, but I imagine that it's can just like imagine, a timeshare, man. Can you imagine you just... if both of them were, like, raging, like, nymphomaniacs? Like both heads are trying to get out there and get all the wang doodles they can. Where do you where do you come up with? Yes, I could imagine that. That'd be great. I would like to see two headed woman <laughs> succeed in pornography, but there's so about few doing porno. No. Wow, I wonder if like why not? I you... wonder if like while one is like getting intimate with someone, if the other one can like go to sleep and like shut down like <laughs> like like say it's like Mina and Tina are the two heads Mina and Tina and all me- of our two headed listeners out yeah, there I want to I mean, say we're, I'm we're, sorry on behalf of the Crazy Town I'm podcast not being, I'm not being on PC I'm asking quest the hard hitting questions oh you're not see, being on PC against our two headed community I have not said anything bigoted about this two headed monster I mean <laughs> two headed community is up in arms <laughs> yeah, the two, there's so many <laughs> but like Okay, like, so what if, like, what if, like, Mina is like, oh, damn, I think, I think Daniel's super fine. And then, like, and Tina is like, Daniel's ugly as fuck. I don't want him, his penis anywhere near me. So, like, while Mina's going after the pee, can Tina just shut down? So she didn't have the experience, like, having sex with a man she's not interested they're in? they're fucking a robot, so she's not a Hoover. <laughs> it's not a... <laughs> She's not a Hoover. It's not a Roomba. You can just shut it <laughs> off when you don't want it to work anymore. They'd have to come to terms with it. Literally. I mean, they probably both have to really like the young man's company in order for them to consensually have that type of activity. What if, with like, them? Mina takes the body over and, like, Tina's like, no, I don't want this. I don't want this. And she's like, we're going to do it. Shut up and take it. Like, but it's like, it's You're like. saying that she doesn't have control of the body. Her right second there? head is like raping her because what? she wants to have sex with the man. Oh, my and, God. <laughs> you brought up the two. I didn't of- bring up the fucking rape. <laughs> you did that. No, but like, no, like. What if, like, one head wants to have sex and the other one doesn't, and the other one's, like, adamant about it, but the other one's like, let's do this. I'm going to give this guy a blowjob regardless of what you think. Jonas. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Oh, God. Here we go. What's that? Would you let me get raped? No. So why the hell do you think these two (laughs) sisters who share a bond stronger than the one that we have would allow anybody to do anything to their... I'm not saying, like, like not like rape... You, like, you think, no, no, not like no, rape, like rape. No, rape like me, rape. Let me explain. Not like a man is going to take them unwillingly, but the one sister wants it and the other one doesn't. Well... Not like... So one is a total willing participant, and it's her body, too, but the other one's like, no, no, no. No, no, no. And like, I come back to my question. Would you let somebody rape me? If I had to head... A second head? I think you would come to terms with the fact of that I have to share this body and this existence with this person. It's difficult. So you but... have – so like one – both heads have the ultimate veto on anything going on. Like if me and you shared a head, do you think we'd come into like like a uh, an agreement that like if one of us was like no go, that would be it? That'd be oh, the end? yeah, because I'd be the slut and you'd be like, let's put on a condom. I'd be like, come on. <laughs> come on. It's, it's, Dude, it's, fuck it. Who imagine, cares? But do you imagine if you had two working heads? How many women will want to be like, I want to know what that'd be like. Yeah, yeah. You're not wrong. I hear amputees, honestly. They get a lot of play. Do they? Because, like, the story of, like, how it happened yeah. and, like, all that sort of stuff. And they, all, and the they always want to see it. The mystique, yeah. They yeah, always want to see it. Yeah. Oh, can I see it? Can I see it? <laughs> all right. We've got a little bit off topic, but that was the last freak from the freak show. <laughs> Come on. They were lovely young people. Oh, yeah. I, thought, I would I love to hang they... out with any of those people in real life. All of them. They're all dead now, so I can't. Yeah. But I would love to. 
You want to start a crazy town freak show? Me and you can hire people, and we're not going to put them in cages and dress them up like worms. We'll give them the proper way to display their talents. I know plenty of freaks at the local strip club. That, uh, <laughs> they're, they're they're like, get to come down. You won't believe what this lady can fit in her, and we'll be right back <laughs> on the Crazy Town Podcast. <laughs> Hey, this is Cade. And this is Jeff. From the Super PP Time Podcast, and you're listening to the Crazy Town Podcast with Jonas. And you obviously know that because you can't listen to a podcast accidentally. You could if you're a very confused person. All right, and we are back on the Crazy Town podcast with Jonas, your host, and TNT Dynamite. Joining us once again for his seventh time on the show to play Are You Urban, Chachmeyer. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You think you got a shot to win this Are You Urban this time? Prepare for me to lose again. You got got this one in the bag. You got this one. Well, I, I I think I I think I left my urban in Ohio. So <laughs> is that like uh, isn't that a country song? I left my urban. <laughs> yeah, in Ohio. probably. I left probably. my urban in Ohio. My Keith Urban CD. I left my, my Keith I, Urban CD in Ohio. My <laughs> my many purpose. years of working at the liquor store got me got me my urban card, and I uh, think yeah. I've. I think it's like faded away. Yeah, you didn't renew. You, you didn't, oh, you didn't I renew. I didn't it. renew. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It's a hassle. Uh, shit too. expired. All right. I'm going to see who goes first. Uh, Chachmar, give me a number between one and ten. Seven. Dynamite? I'm going to pick Avogadro's number. What's that mean? One mole. One? Okay. It was six. Chachmar, do you want to go first or do you want to go second? Oh, God. Uh, second. <clears throat> okay. For everyone listening at home that's never listened to us play Are You Urban before, it's an urban dictionary-based game. The way it works is I give the contestants either a word, and they give me the definition, or I give them a definition, and they try to guess the word. Now, these are completely submitted by random users on Urban Dictionary, so even if you think you know what it means, it may be the wrong answer. If you're the first person to attempt to answer and you get it correct, you get one point. If they get it wrong and the other person gets it right, they get two. If neither person gets it right, I give a pity point based on the best answer possible or the funniest answer or just if I would feel like giving pity to somebody. So you guys uh, ready to get started? Sure. Absolutely. All right. Dynamite. The Present first the word for. is yours. <clears throat> and if this was submitted July 10th, 2008. By Barnaby J. Jones. <laughs> what is dinosaur sex? Dinosaur sex. Yes. Is the sexual act where both participating parties are over the age of 60 years old. Dinosaur <laughs> sex. <laughs> that is incorrect, but I like where you're headed with is that. Is that wrong? That is wrong. I really thought that was going to be the right answer, too. Chachmeyer, what do you got <laughs> for the steal? And that's what I was thinking, too. Um, <laughs> well, at least you know that's not it. I have sex. Um, is it, I don't know, slow? <laughs> slow. Is it <laughs> no. Uh, slow? <laughs> no, that's wrong as well. Uh, Dynamite's okay. going to get the pity uh, point. Slow. <laughs> <laughs> but according to Barnaby J., Dinosaur sex, sex is the act of fucking a girl on the dirt, of in the ground, on the woods, behind her house, then dropping a small boulder on her head and telling her parents she went extinct due to a meteor. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> <laughs> the sentence, which neither of you asked for, I didn't want to go through the hassle of dumping Jill, so I just had dinosaur sex with her instead. Oh, yeah, that would have helped. <laughs> now that you say that, I know exactly what the fuck it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gotta remember to ask for the country of origin every fucking time. Josh Meyer. This was submitted by V. Villy on May 31st, 2009. What is Workabetes? 
workabetes. Yes. Like diabetes with work mixed in, yes, into the yes, work. Yes, yes, like workabetes, yes, exactly. Yes. Definitely. Okay. Um, is that where you're unable to work? Like you're capable of working, but you, you, you for some reason, can't? That is incorrect. I like where your head's at, but that's not correct. Dynamite for the steel? All right, man. <laughs> well, I'm familiar with, with one of those things, not because I have it. I just am familiar with it. So work of BDs, I think, is when a person has an allergic reaction to work, <laughs> where their body cannot process going to work. <laughs> How is that even possible? Well, that's what diabetes is. It's like your pancreas doesn't create enough insulin to handle the sugar, so your body can't produce enough insulin to handle work. You know, fuck you. That's wrong. <laughs> I don't like right. to look at you. What was, Josh, what was your answer again? I completely forgot because this one was so... <laughs> it was basically the same thing. It was basically the same thing, yeah. <laughs> you say Do I have to give myself a point again? I mean, what is it? The answer is when you bring your work home with you and you can't spend time with your family or friends because you have too much work to do at home. Work of BDs. How is that work of BDs? That's just oh, like yeah. being, that's According like being... to V Villy, this is work of BDs, and it's V Villy's word right now. Oh, right. And his world. I don't want to go against what V Villy says. Well, since you're you're <laughs> since you're cutting down on V Villy, Chachmeyer gets the pity. Mm-hmm. Point. You can fucking have it. I'm not I'm, V Villy's a fucking cuck. <laughs> v Villy <laughs> is a cuck. That's absolutely true. All right. <clears throat> this one is a definition. You have to give me the word, TNT. This was submitted. Wow, this one's over fifteen years old. A uh, Giannato, and in parentheses, Snipe is his name. Oh, yeah, of course. November 3rd, 2002. Requiring a lot of attention, is the it... individual is emotionally needy or prone to over-dramatizing a situation to gain attention. It's an adjective. Is you know I want to say your your name so bad, but I'm not going to. Can <laughs> I, is it Jonas's mom? <laughs> no, I was just going to say you. Oh. Uh, can I can I get the, can I get the? Uh, I I can't have it in a sentence, can I? Uh, oh yeah, you can no. blank it out. Just blank it. Yeah, I mean yeah. it's. I mean, although he was a nice boy, his low self esteem made him blank. That's that's what a Giannato parenthesis snipe. All right, said. so it's it's like a pronoun. Obviously. It's an adjective. It's a, it's a describing word. Someone is this. It was. Yeah, I mean, I guess it could be a noun, a, technically. It's a pronoun. A pronoun, whatever. Anyway, um, I'm going to have to say it made him a uh, asshole. <laughs> no, it's an asshole. It's not, it's not correct. It's not asshole, you sure? Chachmeyer, you got, uh, you got an idea? What was the, what was the first... Definition Re- requires a lot of attention. The individual is emotionally needy or prone to over dramatizing a situation to gain attention. Oh, see, I could have thought of something else there. Uh, I'm just gonna go with like, like drama queen. Oh, so fucking close. High it's- maintenance. High maintenance. High Damn. maintenance, dude. See, I was gonna say little bitch, but yeah, high maintenance makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. That is an adjective more than anything else. Yeah. 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 Well, you said he's a high maintenance. Makes there... him. Oh, blank. makes him. Bl- okay. Yeah. yeah. All, All right. right. Chach right. his point. He's up two to one. Oh shit! Don't fucking look at me like that. <laughs> what do you want me to do? <laughs> All right. This yeah. one. This Can't one. Even fucking me look. Chachmeyer. This was submitted by Jim, March eighth, two thousand five. Good old Jim. Yes. Um. It's a it's a phrase. I'm going to give you the definition you have to tell me. It's not a phrase. A stalker's dream come true. <laughs> it is a thing. It is a thing. Mm-hmm. I just picture Wheel of Fortune. I'm sorry. Stalker's dream come true. I'd like to buy a vial. <laughs> F you. What about the sentence here? Um... Let me see if I can give it to you without giving it away. Uh, 
Um, mm-hmm. I can't. I can't. You do can't it, do it. I can't okay. give you the sentence. It'll give it away. Man. I respect that. Actually, <laughs> you got to go. Stalker's blind. dream come true. It'll all make uh, sense when you guys hear what it is for sure. A stalker's <laughs> dream come uh, true. GPS tracking on a phone. That's a good guess, but that's not. That's a good. That's a good. It's a good college try. All right, TNT. What you got? A stalker's dream come true. Come true. Oh man, is it Tinder? So close. It's Facebook. 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 Damn. <laughs> I'll give you the pretty point because you had a social yeah, media. I was close. I was like, yeah. media. It's like Tinder that. just make Tinder makes it easy for stalkers. Honestly, it's yeah. like why do I even have to stalk? Well, because at least on Facebook they yeah, fucking yeah. give you all the information. Yeah, that's true. All right, T- TNT. Yep. This one was submitted by Matt from the Ply on March fourteenth, two thousand six. That guy. What is a slam pig? <laughs> I'm not comfortable with this. <laughs> I would like another word. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Chachmeyer. No, no. 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 <laughs> All right, well, don't don't play the game, man. Nah, dude, fucking give it to me in a sentence then, because I'm I'm uncomfortable with this. But I'm gonna give you the answer, in which I, I, I can't give you the sentence. You can't. It, give... It'll give it away what it is, man. Uh, well, I'll read the sentence I afterwards. Know okay. What I think it is. Then. All right. Well, you tell me, then I'll read the sentence Jesus. afterwards. All right, a nutritionally challenged, heavy set young lady that you acquiesce sexual intercourse with to fulfill your male libido. Is it a fat girl you fuck? <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> you, think not... I, you think I would go there on the? On Why the... would you, dude? You remember the Melody Ping one? It was porno the whole way through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I should give that to you. I don't understand. What I'm, else not, it could... I'm not. I'm not going to give it to you. I don't know. Okay, I'll take Buzz the it. buzzer, but I don't honestly. I don't know what else it could be. All right. All right. It better not be like fucking Canadian bacon or some shit. No, I'd be so no, no, fucking no. mad. Chachmeyer, do you have a guess what a slam pig is? I was kind of thinking that too, but I'm going to have to go with um, uh, kind of the same thing. Like, uh, uh, maybe like, maybe like a conjugal visit though. Like someone who's behind bars that is very easy. Chachi, have you been to prison before? <laughs> I, <laughs> you seem to know a little bit more about how this prison thing works. Than, All right, uh, because I was in, in, I mean, like at first, I was thinking exactly what you said, and so then when he said that was wrong, I had to kind of redirect my brain and try and, to. And, and you know, I I'll I'll what? give you the pity point. Okay, and but. It's a girl that is such a slut and has been fucked so many times that most men realize she has some sort of disease and decide not to go near her. So it's not banging a fat girl. It's banging a disease-ridden whore. Mm. Do you think you earn the point? Do you think you deserve the point for that? Because you, you, you specific- make the decisions here. I, you specifically, I specifically said a said large a woman. Girl. You had said I, nothing I, about disease. Tom didn't even say what sex they were, but that's <laughs> fine. You give him the point. I thought Tom was talking about <laughs> fucking dudes behind bars, but okay. I thought he was talking about getting a hand job from your cellmate. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the slam you the whole you're jail the, route, but you know, yeah, take that point. Here, hold this W. Here, hold hold this W, Chach. <laughs> Trying to make it. <laughs> you ready? I'm born Chach, ready. Chach, you ready for your word? Yes. This is submitted to Urban Dictionary by Astro Fox, August fifth, <laughs> two thousand sixteen. Astro Fox. What is a paratext? God, a paratext. 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 Um. Paratext. Paratext. I don't like going first. Um. Do you not? 
That's that's unfortunate because you're the first right Paratex. Is that like a a, a a text message that's very long and extensive? That's actually correct. It's a text message. Oh, oh that was right. Yeah, it was correct. That was when right. you send or receive a text that is so long, you have to scroll down. Paratext. Like a paragraph, but a text. Paragraph. Oh, uh, yeah. see, I was thinking two texts. I should have. I would have had it spelled out. No, okay. TNT Dynamite. This is a definition. <laughs> yes. Submitted by Paul Soth, February twenty third, two thousand three. Okay. It's just a step to the left, and then a step to the right. Put your hands on your hips. This is terrible. Put your knees in tight, but it's a the pelvic, pelvic thrust. thrust. That really drives you insane. Let's do the time warp again. <laughs> that is correct. Oh, it Rocky. Was time warp. <laughs> oh, Rocky. I dated a girl who was super into that movie. I've seen it a million times. Really? Yeah. Uh, well. Chach, this was submitted <laughs> by The Burninator. <laughs> December 19th, 2003. <laughs> a fucking a legend on Urban Dictionary. The, the definition is someone who can't figure out what a dumb fuck is. Someone who can't figure out what a dumb fuck is. Hmm. And Mm. Hmm. Mm. Um. Mm. I see. I. I mm. uh, mm. uh, I'm just gonna. I don't know. A dumbass. Dumbass. No, that's not correct. Yeah. Now look. I, I didn't think so. If there's so. anything I know, it's millennial thinking. Is the answer dumb fuck? <laughs> the answer is dumb fuck. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Spread a steal with two as soon, as, as soon as I heard it, I was like, "The answer's got to be dumb fuck." <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Someone who can't figure out what a dumb fuck is. The answer: a dumb fuck. <laughs> Damn, I was, I was close. You were close. You, you were said close. dumbass. You were, but... close. you were close. All right, TNT. This was sent in by A Town Down. On June seventeenth, two thousand four. Peace up, a town down. A town down. Okay. What is a wanger? A wanger, dude. That's just a that's just a term for the male phallus. That's correct. Is yeah. that really? Yeah, it? yeah that's really it. Fuck up. <laughs> that's really Are you it. Serious? That's really it. Wow. And because of that steal and that answer. Chach cannot win oh, the game. Oh no, Chachi, I'm sorry. It's, right now Chachi, it's six to four, and he has up. one more word left. So yeah. we'll do one more. You had me down in the first round, yeah, I swear. He did. You, that fucking dumb fuck, that really came through clutch in the end, dude. All right. Yeah. I was a dumb fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right, Chach Meyer. Your last <laughs> word just for fun. From PDX Johnny ninety nine submitted April twelfth two thousand thirteen. What is room zooms? R o o m space z o o m s. Room zooms. Room zooms. Yes. I think I know what this is. Was that like the one of the wait wait what year? Two thousand thirteen. Ooh, near future, Chachi. Prime millennial territory. Five years ago. Prime. Five years ago. Well, yeah. three and a half. Yeah, four and a half years ago. Yeah. Is it like one of those, like, hoverboard things? <laughs> no, that would be awesome. <laughs> I, want <a> fucking, <laughs> I want a hoverboard. <laughs> TNT for the steal. Oh, oh, wait. Let me give him his buzzer. Oh, give him his buzzer. Because he, he earned this one. Um, yeah. <laughs> is it just a, a nickname for, like, house slippers? No, no, it's not. Okay. No, I thought you guys would get this. Wait, for sure. wait, 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 wait. I know this won't count. I will. I know this won't count. But is it? Is it like a Roomba? No, no, no. It's when you're okay. so fucked up and laying in bed and the room's spinning. You got room zooms. Yo, that's dumb as fuck. Oh. 
that's, 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 that's like that's like drug culture. I'll, I'll give I'll give Chacha a pity point just to make it a six to five game. There we and, go. And uh, TNT Dynamite. I know, man. S- still the reigning champion. The Dude, the fucking the listeners are gonna start to hate me. You remember that guy? You're gonna be like Jeopardy a patriot. That won like twelve shows. In yeah, a row? Ken Jennings. <laughs> you remember his name? Yeah, because I hated him. <laughs> You remember everybody you hate, right? I guess that's so. why everybody hates the New England Patriots because they win all the I'm time. The Black Clen Jennings. I'm <laughs> fucking... everybody, everybody hates the winner. If you win a lot, everybody fucking hates you. It's just how yeah. it works, man. All right. So, Trotchmeyer, that's zero and three on Are You Urban, man? But you know yeah. what? This isn't the UFC. We'll keep bringing you back. <laughs> this isn't the UFC. My <laughs> contract up... got renewed. Yeah, we renewed Hell your yeah. contract. Trotch, you put up a great fight, man. You're... Always good to go against a solid competitor. It is. And Josh Mar, we do want to thank you for stopping by. This will be your this is your seventh appearance on the podcast, man. Seven fucking yes. times. Becoming a regular yes, old uh Chachmeyer. It's it's a fucking barrel of laughs every time. <laughs> a barrel of laughs it is. I always love it when I get the Joni Chachi uh the Joni Joni Chachi, Chachi combo here. Joni and Chachi. All right, everybody, and we will be right back on the crazy town podcast we are back on the crazy town podcast tnt did it again chachmar own three <laughs> i mean at this point was there any doubt wow <laughs> i didn't what you said earlier <laughs> taking everybody's a formidable opponent no, team yeah, i mean yeah yeah it's fine Chachi's a good guy. He's a good competitor. You know, but I just I go out there, I give one hundred ten percent, and you know, I just try <laughs> to bring home a win for the Gipper. Gipper. Wow, the Gipper. The Gipper. So TNT, what did we learn today on the show? What? <laughs> what did we learn today on the show? <laughs> we learned that you're racist against our multicephalic uh, humans. How am I racist against a girl with two heads? You called her two headed monster. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> It's just because you said I was being a bigot. I wasn't. <laughs> what do you mean I'm racist, Jew? <laughs> <laughs> I was just watching uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia the other day, yeah. and they had this whole episode where, like, they're like, you can't call them that. And he's like, but they're Jewish. He's like, but you can't call them a Jew. <laughs> he's like, what? <laughs> like, it was like, it's bad when you cut it in short. Yeah, right. But, you know, that is all the time we have for today's episode, TNT. Okay. Uh, do you want to say anything to anybody? Tell them where they can find your stuff yeah, on the Yeah, dude, I'm on the Twitter. Uh, TNT, Dynamite, Two-Headed Man. Yeah. Dot org? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whichever way you like it, baby. Uh, yeah, you can find me there. I'm on the YouTube. There's something up there, I'm sure. You know where to, you know, you already fucking know where to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know where to go. Well... Our cornucopia of continuous information, thecrazytown.com. Go there. Anything you need to know about this podcast, anything. You wondering about TNT? Anything. Not really. <laughs> what are they wondering about? I don't know what they're wondering about you. They're wondering if you got a two-headed monster or not. It's up there. Go check. Go look at thecrazytown.com. Might be. Our Twitters, I know you're all following them by now. At the Crazy Town Pod, at Crazy Town Media. If you're not following them by the time I'm done speaking this goddamn sentence, (laughs) Uncle Johnny is not going to smoke the pig for your fiesta next weekend. Uncle Johnny, please, you make the best stuff, smoke pig. (laughs) Uncle Johnny, you make the best smoke pigs. The best. I meant to say luau. I kind of fucked up. I was thinking about roasting a pig. I said smoking a pig. Smoking stuff. (laughs) It's like smoking a hog. But anyways, you're 12. Please, I, I'm like <laughs> fucking 12 years 12 old. Years please, old. please review us on iTunes. Give us your honest opinion. Tell us what you hate about the show. Check us out there. Check us out on SoundCloud, YouTube. We're freaking everywhere. For Jonas and for TNT Dynamite, we are out. <laughs>